I'm Louis. Uh, and I'm Calum. And tonight we are looking at a Malaysian aircraft investigation. Uh, we have sort of an expert with us here tonight. Uh, this is Ali. He's been researching uh, the matter for us. So, um, Ali, when did, when did the plane disappear? Uh, a few days ago, Airlines Flight 378 disappeared crossing the South East Asian Ocean. Mm. Do you know how many passengers and crew members were uh, on the plane? 227 passengers were killed and 12 crew members. And uh, one of the pilots, uh, Zahadi Ahmed Shaw, was 53 years old and had 18,365 hours of flying when he became a pilot. Uh, 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 do you know like, what was, it was first suspected? It was first believed that um, it was two people who had um, come on board the plane with stolen passports and it was believed that it was terrorism, but uh, they, we then they realised that it was just people that bought passports and they were just boarding the plane to return to the country. Mm -hmm. Is there any actual evidence? Uh, it was being discovered that a machine that controlled the plane's movement and actions was jammed and that may have caused the plane to crash. So um, the plane's not actually entirely been found yet, it's still an ongoing investigation. Like uh, parts have been found over the place, so um, we'll, um, we'll keep you updated. So uh, it's BBC News uh, at 9, I'm Callum. I'm Louie. I'm Ali.